see Doug Kink Crispin of Kickass Organ History, ORHistory.com. Let's see if he's in. Hello, Mr. Hello. Kink Crispin. Hello, sir. How do you do? <laughs> Come on in. I'd like to interview you. <laughs> if, if this is a convenient time. Of course. Come on in. Let me get my tie. Yeah. All right. Great. And now the hammy opening the door stick is over. So, kick-ass organ history. Hmm. All right. Why don't you give us a little, uh, just a little rundown about what that is. Well, Kick-Ass Oregon History is a bi-weekly podcast series produced by myself and my co-partner, uh, Andy Lindbergh. Uh, he lives in New York City. We're bi-coastal and it's fine. Our ladies are okay with they're that. They're cool with that. Yeah, definitely. Nice. They're, they're, they're modern women. Good. So it's a, a podcast that looks at exciting stories that occur within the state of Oregon. So it's fairly self-explanatory. We base it out of a URL called orhistory.com. And in addition to the podcast, we do walking tours. Uh, we do bus tours, usually with beer, oftentimes uh, ending at a strip club, a historic strip club. And uh, yeah, we tend to look at the ribald stories in Oregon's past. The ribald, 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 ribald. The ribald. We ribald? can go with the ribald. The rib. Somebody Google the ribbed. that. Ribald. So I want to know. Yeah. Um, I want to know what it is that gets you into a racket like this, besides the babes and the and then the cash and the yeah yeah cars. It's okay. the money. It's it's the money. It's just. Insane. Yeah. Look at this place. Yeah, this is <laughs> yeah, it's just like okay. Angus Stura freaking bitter. Yeah, yeah, man. this is top shelf. But you know, we're here so we can really connect all folks that live here with these stories that took place here. And that's what we really try to do with this podcast. Yeah, I mean, yeah we have fun and we drop the fuck word yeah. a lot and things like yeah. that. But we want to get people to listen to the podcast and then to get up out of the chair and go out to these historic locations and really dig them and see what's going on. But but what what is it that got you interested in history in the first place? Because you could have done podcasts mm -hmm. about other stuff and made probably even more money. Yeah, yeah, I probably could have. history, as yeah. much... Yeah. Glamour as there is. In oh, history. yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's just, yeah, it's hot. These stories that were true were indeed, it's such a cliche, they were absolutely stranger than fiction. Yeah. You know, and that's what really kind of riveted me was these true stories that are so fascinating. Yeah. And I, I hope that that carries through in our podcast, that mm -hmm. those true stories that we choose to produce and not make up. Right, right, right. I mean, although you bring uh, definitely a, a, a sometimes ribald. Ribbled. But certainly a fanciful um, uh, energy to, to the telling of the story. Well, thank you. Thank yeah. you. A lot yeah. of that is my co-host, Andy Lindbergh, who's an accomplished thespian. A thespian. Yeah. I don't know if his girlfriend... Thespian, he's bicoastal. I don't know if his girlfriend knows about the thespian part, but um, yeah. nonetheless, he acts... Right, so um, do you guys write together, or do you tend to write? I generally write, uh, okay. bounce it off of him. He gives me a lot of editorial uh, input, which I, I trust, you know, yeah. and uh, we just kind of go from there. How did you How did you connect with Andy? He and I went to high school together at Lincoln High School, uh, downtown okay. Portland. Yeah. All right, Lincoln High School. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I understand we have a clip also uh, of uh, something from Andy's past. Oh, right? I believe we might. Right, yeah. so, so do you want to set that up? No, let's just roll with just it. Just roll with yeah. that? direction you're looking to pretend that the, where the monitor is, but it's, I don't know. It's, Fascinating. Wow. Yeah. That's some, that's mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. visceral. It is. It is indeed. So, so that's, so, so that's from uh, Stand By Me. Correct. And, and he was, he played a character named uh, Lardass. Lardass. Yeah, Lardass Hogan. Correct. Lardass yeah. Hogan. Yeah. And, um, uh, you know, I, I just actually kind of want to see that clip again. Well, let's watch it. Take, take a look. Hey. Det var en gång en gubbe som var ute och gick en solig dag vid en mur. 
Han var så glad. Tills det kom en sten rakt rullande mot han. Han blev livrädd och började springa för livet. Great, great. Where was that filmed? I believe it was filmed uh, outside of Eugene, Springfield maybe? Okay. Eugene, Springfield area, I believe. Okay, so it's legit Oregon history. Oh, fuck yeah. That clip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That Definitely. clip. That is, that is a bastion of Oregon film history. Great. Can we see that clip again backwards? Let's. It was the 80s. It was yeah, the 80s, yeah. yeah. It, was, it was a different era. Yeah, yeah. You know, we used to work with an old cat uh, named Rudy, who uh, was an older guy, who would tell us these crazy stories. And, you ever hear about when Roseburg blew up? And I'm like, what the fuck are you <laughs> talking about, Rudy? And then found out later, holy shit, Roseburg did explode one day in the 1950s. And, and people died and horrifically maimed. And it was actually such a crazy, crazy eruption. The mushroom cloud went up. People thought that the Russians had nuked Roseburg <laughs> oh, no. because Roseburg was so fucking high on the nuke list. What's, what, what are some of the other things? What's, what are some of your favorite stories that you've, uh, that you've uncovered? Uh, we talked about uh, Shanghai yeah. and uh, the myth of the Shanghai okay, tunnels Okay, so yeah, what's the Portland? story with this? Can we settle that here and now? Well, yeah, it's all bullshit. I mean, Shanghai occurred. There you go, settled. D.B. Cooper is an abiding interest of yours. I mean, I suppose yeah. if, you, if, if one were interested in Oregon history, and especially of the non-dry kind, mm -hmm. the guys are natural. You got things yeah. blowing up in Roseburg and, and, and dildos in Roseburg yeah. and other things yeah. in Roseburg. Probably yeah. Roseburg in general. Yeah, I think explosions in dildos and about dildos. covers Roseburg. This is a guy that uh, shows up at this plane, and he vaults out the back a few hours later. And this is all that we know about this man, Bigfoot. Uh, that's another uh, exciting uh, story. Went on a Bigfoot hunt to, to seek the beast. Yeah. And, and we did not find him. Look over there. Chief. How long will it take us to get down there? One hour, maybe two. All right. Well, thank you, Doug. Thank you, Leo. Uh, thank you for being the uh, first... Uh, Subject, test subject. I appreciate it. I hope this. your your future interviews are not as sweaty as this one. I'm, I hope they're sweatier. <laughs> Personally. I'm In like, Roseburg. This is great. In Roseburg. <laughs> All right, good night. See you on the internet. Thank you, folks. We love the internets. All of them. Let's take one last look at that clip. They journeyed for six months and 2,000 difficult miles. Wood and iron wheels rolling, bumping, grinding a passageway into half a continent, inching ever westward, west to the promised land, west to Oregon.